Hey everyone, this is Rascal, and welcome to part 18 of DLP of Star Wars, Knights of the Republic 2 to Sith Lords. In the last part, we finally finished helping the Adorians, and we're going to leave Telos. Well, let me rephrase that. We're not leaving Telos, we're just going to its service to find the Ebon Hawk. Huh. So yeah, let's hope that nothing can possibly go wrong. Come on, Zerko's on the planet, what the hell do you think's gonna happen? Whoa! 80 towers! 80 towers! Shit, shit, Atten! Atten! Skills! Hope your skills can. God damn it! God damn it! Oh. Crap, 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 crap! Ow! 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 Well. Damn it. Ugh. My head. Anybody get the license plate? Ugh. Good to have you back, General. Uh, my head. It feels like it's been ripped in half. Enough. You survived one spectacular crash. Lucky I was here to pull you and your friends out of that shuttle, or you'd be more than a little crispy. Ugh. But it's only fair. I owe you more than one, General. General? Who are you? You must be in shock from the crash. Have to expect some long term memory loss from that. Too bad she's not a droid, huh? Oh, cute. We can't all be that lucky. I'll humor you, General. I was one of the Iridonian mechanic corps that was at Malachor. They adore. I can see how you'd forget me being that I was the only No, one. I remember. I just don't want to don't talk about it. Oh. too hard. I'd rather not talk about the war if we could. Yeah. We all went through some tough times after Malachor. And maybe we all did a little forgetting. Guess that's one thing we've got better than droids. They can't forget anything. But then you Not give true. them a memory there you go. wipe and they forget. <laughs> They'll be fine. The pilot's more or less unharmed and the old lady, well, she's tougher than she looks. Uh, you know, I never thought I'd see you again, General. Galaxy's a big place. Yeah. The last place I thought I'd bump into you. So I have to ask, just what are you doing here? Uh, looking for my ship. I well, still may be able to find my ship down here. In as bad shape as this one, I don't think you're gonna have much luck. No, oh, we'll be fine. Well, this is familiar. Feels like my last time on Telos. Wait, you crashed a shuttle on Telos last time too? God damn it! We're crashed gonna see seek out a too. more re no, suitable pilot. That was not the most pleasant landing I've endured. Next time, we should perhaps seek out a more reputable pilot. Oh yeah, you're I agree welcome, with that, Kriya. You know, if I weren't such a crack pilot, we could have hit the shield wall or one of those rock faces. Yes, our current situation is a vast improvement. <laughs> I love the satire between these two, but, you know, Adam does have a point. No if he, here, we could have been even team. much worse. We could have hit the I shield and been completely destroyed. Shoot, shooting us down? I can't imagine Zerka having us shot down by a bunch of scientists either. You know, I caught a glimpse of what looked like an AD tower when we flew over the compound. Why would have a research station Maybe have an AD tower? Shouldn't be. I've seen pirate bases with the same sort of setup. Wait, how the hell do you know about pirates? I have access to the shield network. I came hoping to repair whatever damage your shuttle took, but Natty and I can fix that wreck. Oh, so, oh, great. The authorians aren't going to be happy with us, you know. Well, I think they're happy with the fact that we saved their lives and helped them on uh, the, the station, but uh, the fact that we crashed a shuttle that's pretty much unrepairable First, unless it's in a mechanic you know up on the station Zerka then the we're fucked there could be a lot of them out there second there's all the canucks the vicious canuck? jaw predators the authorians imported from duxon they were meant to keep the herbivore population in check i don't see any herbivores right. around the canucks ate them all now they'll eat anything they can catch including us Without the Athorians to maintain the accelerated yeah. system's balance, everything here is falling apart. Zerka's killing the restoration project piecemeal. Well, yeah, Zerka's doing a stupid idiot. Now, Beador is actually required at this point of the game. He is a permanent party member until you reach a certain other point in the game. Yeah. Uh, his arm is, uh, as you notice, it's not really his arm. Um, you'll see it right here. Uh, Beador, 
uh, something happened to him in the war, he will actually explain it later part. But um, if you face up against a shield and use bid or melee it, uh, pu to punch it or attack it, it will automatically break. It's one of the best ways to get past some of the uh, shielded areas. Now, Beador cannot wear armor, per se. Uh, mostly because of his arm. That's the reason they give. And you know what? It's a valid explanation. But still, I... Okay, I think he can wear certain armors, but not heavy armor. I think that's the only thing he can't wear. Ugh. So, yeah. Okay, good. Our bearings are straight. We don't have any head problems anymore. And that is a Kanok. Oh, God fucking damn it. That's my controller being stupid. Yeah. Kanoks aren't hard. They just, uh, most of the time, they'll attack in packs. Well, I said, like I said, most of the time, they'll attack in packs of two, three, four. Uh, when we get to Duxon, which hey, we have no choice to visit. You look like you've been standing too close to one of my shield generators. Now, I did... Uh... Uh, I did... Uh, I did something stupid. You're, I was supposed to be able to get the, uh... Sorry. Yes, I an influence right there, but I screwed out. up on that. Since the I war ended. I around for a couple years. Working as a starship mechanic got me from place to place. I wasn't ready to settle down after the war. I don't blame you. I, during my anxiety, I did the exact same thing. Though the war had ended, I couldn't find peace in anything. As long as I kept moving, I didn't have to think about what happened. Know what I mean? Yeah, all too well. I'm sure you do. I decided Even I'd do something Even because the um, exile the while in that Malachor, we will visit it. What happened is that she gave the word. The exile gave the word to spare. activate something called the Shadow Mass Driver. Uh, it acts like a bomb, but it collapses uh, planets and ships instead. Something good. I saw Telos before the Sith raised it. He deserved a better fate. Zerka yeah. Ruined everything. I thought I could force Zerka out on my own, but I guess I can't fix everything myself. It, I think taking on Zerka single-handed might be a little out of your league. It's good to be worth something else. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that old thing. I built him when I was a kid, been following me around for years now, despite what I've done to try and chase him off. Hey, I'm just, just kidding. kidding. I'm happy to have you <laughs> around. Uh, later on, when you have he bit, he'll the upgrade the remote later on. With a cutting laser and some other tools for delicate modifications. He can actually attack, but you can't upgrade the remote. Annoying. It will all level up with Beodor as he goes. He'll be able to I attack enemies, so you'll have... Time. Three party fixing up the ship. In a sense, you'll have three party members out at the same time, which is pretty cool, but um, I got it's just a situational kind of thing. Spanner. Figured I'd get a new one. Uh, that seems a bit. I was only kidding. Actually, it was a souvenir from Malacor. I was lucky it was all I lost. But at least it gave me something to do, right? Everyone always said I was probably half machine anyway. Something else. <laughs> Now, I, this is um, nice, but it's a little too much. Um, not too much, sorry. Um, it shows how technology right now, advanced right uh, in the go. Star Wars universe still. Droid, Great. Because if you look, um, for me when they saw your show. he has a laser like or energy Rack field that's connecting you know, the, the wrist in his forearm, you think where his forearm would be. Good point. Um, Good. As you see in episode two, uh, in episode two at the end, Anakin gets a, just a pure robotic hand, and he has to cover it. Oh fuck sakes! He has to cover it with a um, a glove-like item. I don't know why I'm attacking the droid first. I should be attacking the yes. There we go. There we go. That should help a bit. Yeah, Force Whirlwind. Um. Is actually quite useful because it keeps the opponent in a lock. As you guys can see, he's getting hurt without actually getting hurt. Um, okay, screw it. I'll take on the other one. Also, if you have um, if there are enemies around them, 
if they they can be uh, saved or they fail, they get pushed back. They don't get damaged. They just fall on their butts for a bit. They're not prone, more or less. Yeah, that was pretty easy, actually. Oof. I don't have much. The only thing I hate about being a Jedi Guardian is that there's not enough force powers. Um, that's the only problem because the force is actually quite useful in this game. More useful than the first one because of the much more uh, diverse abilities you get through the force. Yeah, I might as well start healing with these med packs. Now, as you notice, because of Court Tour 2, we start out as a Jedi. We're immediately given force powers, unlike Corridor 1, which is what I do like, but hate at the same time. Because you have so much options that you don't know what to do with them right away. Ugh. You know, these speeders could have been useful. Oh, excuse me. Another Ooh, a sentry droid. droid. The mercenaries must be using them to locate us. There's probably another patrol nearby. Oh, I was hoping to stun it. Yeah, fucking character. Oh, come on. How did I miss? Okay, that clearly connected just did no damage. That was weird. Now, watch out here. These mercenaries are protected by, uh... Fuck. Mines? So, oh god damn it. I really hate my controller for this. I'm glad. There we go. Oops. That one went down. Uh, this is why having uh, some ranged characters around is good because. Although they go against AC. Oh god damn it. No, I didn't, don't walk in. Fucking moron. You fucking moron. Ugh. Yeah, I saw remains. E. Oof. I'm not that lucky during this game. <laughs> I don't know why. I'm just not that lucky. Ooh, Canox. Well, not really, ooh, because I don't really care. They don't give much XP. Even at later levels, they don't give that much XP. Uh, Canogs are pretty much uh, basic wildlife. Or basic enemies. Holy shit, I didn't grow a level though because of them. <laughs> Who would have guessed? Come on. Come on. Thank you. Wow, he has a high dexterity. Jesus. Uh, I, I do like Telos' surface here. It's pretty big. It's There's enough to explore to satisfy your curiosity. But there's nothing, like, deadly about it. Or too dangerous. The only hard part is towards the end. That's only because, um... The game just gives you a, f a giant, almost a giant fuck you. We'll see that in the next part, though, unfortunately. I always feel a sense of calm when I walk the surface of Telos. Amazing at wasting the Republic's credits, maybe. But now that you mention it, I think I feel. Like <laughs> Adden, why are you just hovering instead of walking to us? Quiet. There's a lot. If you move carefully along the perimeter, we may be able to get by. We could cross along the shore. I head along the cliffs. Uh, let's let's just get going. Um, uh, oh, bitch. hold up. No. Come on, pass me. Notice? Yeah, I love that. There's the effect of the splashing. Oh, come on! I really hate this. Oh, come on. Die already. I really hate that I'm not doing any killing. 
I mean, God, all of my the kills up to date have been the, I've been Atten and Beodor, not me. Now, actually, having Kreia here, now I took Atten because, well, this is what I'm used to as a party a bit. Uh, having Kreia actually at this point of the game still out because she, as long as she's with you, she gives bonus XP. Uh, early on the, for from level of a fuck. I hate that. There, a Mandalor Oh wow, big whoop. Mandalorian pistol, big whoop. Um, early on in the game, bonus XP is a good thing because he'll grow level much faster, which is actually kind of required. Because um, when you're playing as a male character, it's not so bad. But later on, we're gonna see who stole our um, our ship. And when that happens, um, as a male character, you get one of these characters that tags along secretly. Oh, shit, the counter followed us. Uh, come on, die, thank you. So, yeah. Oh, god damn it. Mines. Ooh, recover mine. Recover mine. I just said to recover mine. God damn it. Now, this is proof that my controller is getting is older than it looks. Uh, accept, the accept button isn't working properly. And the control stick is screwed up. Now, this is kind of cool. These, um... What we have here are hidden caches hidden caches we should be on the lookout for more of these they could come in handy now usually these things are uh, pretty good because they have some decent weaponry usually or items so no matter what you're gonna end up finding something decent like that life support pack that's really good the life support pack actually um, is a med pack that's like the old one and it's the best healing item in the game I was like, I saw the combat enforcer. I was like, and then you get, okay, and that's nice. And then um, minus two to attack. Uh, screw that. No. Screw that. Let's just keep you the way you are. Come on. What the hell are you doing past me? Oh. No, he's good as he is. Oh, I still gave him the combat enforcer. Damn it. I'm an idiot. Now, like I said, those packages are more are better programmed this time. They work on your constitution, so the higher your constitution, the better. So, yay. Ooh, Canuck. Last kill of, the, of this part. And so, yeah, the part's coming to an end. So join me next time as we explore deeper into the Teal's Junk uh, Shielded Restored Area. Don't forget to comment, rate, subscribe. Thank you. Have a good day or night.